650 this morning. Let's get right to your news in a flash. Looking ahead to Ukraine Church, with ties right here to Rockford, now planning to build. After a bombing last month, they are planning to rebuild. The pastor there speaking out about Rockford's sister church being used as a shelter. Now, no one inside was hurt. If you want to support, lots of ways to do so. We have the details on our website. And looking ahead, City First Church continuing to give back and feeding households, planning to hold its next food distribution in June. This after setting a milestone on Tuesday, giving away 2 million pounds of food. The pastor saying as long as there is a need, they will continue to provide. What's happening right now, unanswered questions over a man's body found inside the Rock River. We are still waiting on his identity this morning. Rock for police, firefighters finding that man near the Ford and Dam just south of downtown. A witness walking on the bridge apparently spotted the body on the rocks. We'll let you know what we hear from investigators. And meantime, people are uniting to save lives at a busy Rockford intersection after two deaths in the past year. The Rolling Green Neighborhood Association is talking about adding flashing pedestrian signs, a center lane, a center turn lane, and more police cars to discourage speeding. People also debating the possibility of needing Alpine uh, to go through a reconstruction. And the former Saturn Park on Garrett Lane now has a new name. It's not over man. It's been decades trying to improve it. Rockford Park District now calling the Keeling Trailhead Park, named after Jim Keeling. He actually started fundraising for the Park District in the 90s, bringing in a whole lot of money. Well, that's your news in a flash.